The Lord our God is in our midst, and as we were in the procession, I couldn't help but think of the love and the outpouring that has begun in the nation for a great president, great world leader, and a faithful servant of Almighty God. He was a courageous man himself and a gallant leader in the cause of freedom. And today we honor the memory of Ronald Reagan. I want a nickname, the great communicator. But I never thought it was my style or the words I used that made a difference. It was the content. I wasn't a great communicator, but I communicated great things. history say of us, these were golden years when the American Revolution was reborn, when freedom gained new life and America reached for her best. stronger than its people. Well, I believe in you and I believe that if we work together that one day we will say we have fought the good fight, we finished the race, we kept the faith, we did all that could be done in the brief time that was given us here on earth. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. able to be here tonight, he would once again remind us of the power of each individual, urging us once again to fly as high as our wings will take us and to never, never give up on America. is back, standing tall, with courage, confidence, and hope. Once you begin a great movement, there's no telling where it'll end. We meant to change a nation, and instead, we changed a world.
Tonight, President Ronald Reagan has returned to the People's House to be honored by millions of Americans who loved him. While others worried, President Reagan persevered. When others weakened, President Reagan stood tall. When others stepped back, President Reagan stepped forward. Knowing that this moment would come has not made it any easier to see the honor guard and the flag draped before us and to begin America's farewell to President Ronald Reagan. We have come from sea to shining sea to this soil which he loved so much and where his body will remain. You know my father, as governor, as president, but I knew him as dad. When he opened his eyes, eyes that had not opened for many, many days, and looked at my mother, he showed us that neither disease nor death can conquer love. In his final letter to the American people, Dad wrote, I now begin the journey that will lead me into the sunset of my life. This evening, he has arrived.
I've seen what men can do for each other and do to each other. I've seen war and peace, feast and famine, depression and prosperity, sickness and health. I've seen the depths of suffering and the peaks of triumph. And I know in my heart that man is good, that what is right will always eventually triumph, and that there is purpose and worth to each and every life.